Do you think it's possible to fall in love with a robot? Yeah, I mean, people fall in love with things all the time. Well, people have fallen in love with your shitty robots, probably. I, I guarantee you there's people listening to this that are a little bit heartbroken saying that you've never fallen in love with your shitty robot. <laughs> They're like, but I had a relationship, like I had an <laughs> emotional connection to that robot. Like the one with it with a parent, Patsy on the back. Oh, that one. That one I do like. I like that one a lot. Um, that's probably my favorite, like, shitty robot. Can you explain it? So it's a machine. It was my friend Daniel Beauchamp and I. We had this long-running joke about a proud parent machine that you could give a quarter and it pats you on the shoulder and says, proud of you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I still have that hanging on my wall in my workshop. So that one I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with. I just think it's a really funny concept and also i executed the build well so that was so it's an arm mm -hmm. like what's the build yeah i built it off of an old lamp arm yeah basically it's just a motorized arm and this kind of torso of of a person mm -hmm. what's well, so, so it's actually a hand right it's not a, correctly it's, it's, a it's like a laser cut it's just laser cut plywood and it kind of has like it, it looks creepy yeah which i like yeah, the creepy yeah. helps with the... Yeah. And yeah, it says, proud of you, son. Because I just thought that sounded more funny than proud of you, daughter. And also, proud of you, son, just... It immediately communicates that it's a parent. It's not just like a collie or something. It's like, proud of you. <laughs> yeah. And it charges you a quarter for it. Yeah, but he added like chat GPT on top of that and uh, fine tune it on conversations you've had with your parents. And all of a sudden, you have a thing... It can fundamentally transform your psyche. Yeah. That's all it takes. That's a beautiful creation. How'd you come up with that creation? Oh, it was my friend Daniel and I who had a long-running joke about it. 